Okay, building some pro-style dumbbells here. I'm gonna uh, make a 90 pounder here. I'm using an SDH4, uh, which I discussed in another video, why uh, I went with a four and not a five. You could, I'll provide a link in the video. You could click over to see the rationale behind that. Uh, so what I did, I stacked four tens on the bottom here just to uh, hold this in place while I work. Um, I repainted all these uh, weights, so what I'm doing, I'm looking for the best looking surface that I have to be on the inside of the uh, dumbbell, plus the last one on the end. So, uh, this one isn't quite as clean, so I'm going to use that as the inside. So now I'm just going to start stacking them. Any of the ones that didn't paint well, like when I flipped this over, put it on the cardboard, uh, some of the cardboard stuck because it wasn't completely dry. I don't really care about that, so I'm just going to bury that in there. another plate on and then this one this looked pretty good on this surface so I want that showing on the outside I also try to line the uh, the numbers up so if the 10 is showing here I have the 10 on the inside showing here and so on and so forth it's gonna spin a little when I crank it but um, we'll go from there um, so for a 90 pound dumbbell I'm taking into account the weight of the handle which is three pounds I'm going to use an end cap on each side, which is one pound each, so the handle and end caps are five. I have 80 pounds worth of tens on here right now. I'm going to put another five pounds on in, in the form of two and a halves, and that will add up to 90 pounds. Start the thread on the bolt there. This is an eight millimeter bolt. I think any kind of handles you get, it's pretty much going to be uh, eight millimeter. Now what I'll do, that's where the uh, label is going to go. I'm going to offset that just a touch because as I start cranking down, it's going to spin. And like I said, I want to try to keep everything as lined up as possible. For now, I'm just going to snug that in until I get to the other side because I don't want all the, all the plates spinning. So now we're going to flip the whole thing over. Two and a half is about the same diameter as an end cap, so it covers the whole thing, so it doesn't really matter too much where I line that up. Now I could put a uh, impact wrench on here. I could put some thread locker in the form of a uh, blue low tight on these bolts, but I don't want to quite do that yet in case I need to uh, disassemble them. I will uh, snug that up even further. Okay, that's pretty good and snug. One more time on the other side. Put it down on its side and crank it this way. And that's it. 90 pound dumbbell.